we're so far apart. Hi team. <laughs> Don't spill any of that popcorn. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Woo woo, coming to you on this very great day. Literal popcorn in bed today. Matinee, yeah. we my favorite. We love a matinee. Really, energy do. is high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Have I told them my secret confession? I don't know. Do tell. <laughs> my like most favorite thing is when I'm having a bad day or something. Really need mm -hmm. a break. I just kind of like ditch my responsibilities and go to a matinee by myself. And I bring a blanket and I bring my favorite treats and I bring my drink. That's your I, <laughs> Dr. Pepper and I just, yeah. And it's usually like just me in the theater. And hey, it's just amazing. Question, now that like a ton of movies are on streaming, would you like just want to do that from the comfort of your home or do you like the theater I experience? I like the of, theater experience. Even yeah, and like yourself. part of it is, yeah, like I'm just like, I go to the theater and it's just like dark and it's just yeah. me and yeah. I'm like cozy with my favorite things. And I swear it is therapeutic. Like every time I'm like, and I'm gonna be okay. And I, I think there's also a little bit of it where I, I'm a pretty disciplined person. And I like the kind of like, I'm just taking a break, you know? Right. And I'm like, I don't know, but yeah, I love I, it. I so that's my secret that. confession. Uh -huh. I was afraid to go to movies by myself for mm. a really long time, but I can remember the first time I did it. I was like on a work trip before I had kids and mm. I was like, well, I've got a couple hours. I want to mm. see this movie. And it was like liberating. Invigorating, right? But yeah. I also did like fake a phone call while people were walking in. I'm like, hey, oh, yeah. you can't make it? Shoot, I'm already here. Okay, well, well, I'm just gonna stay oh, here. <laughs> okay, side note, okay. sorry. Sorry. Um, guys, since we caught up on Mission Impossible mm. and are anxiously waiting the new one, we are Can't starting wait. a new series, a new action series, and it is Bond, James, James Bond. Bond. Um, okay, so a little background. She has seen the Daniel Craig ones. Yes. All of them? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I've seen most of them. Do I remember them? No. But I have but, seen maybe parts of the one with the Adele song. I don't know if I've seen. Okay. I don't. If, if the music video for that Adele song is the movie, that might have been it that I've seen. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Yeah, because we had kind of watched them leading up to our work had or had rented out a theater for the new James oh, Bond, and so okay. we went so to it. So we were watching. watching some of them up to it, but we've realized that when I watch things like pretty quickly. Yeah, it goes right out. <laughs> so, um, anyways. But we have both never seen the older ones. Mm -mm. So what we decided to do was on Patreon have a poll of the Sean Connery movies and then the one guy and then have a poll of the next guy and then the one and then have a poll of Pierce Brosnan. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we started with the Sean Connery movies and the winner was... Goldfinger? Does that okay. sound familiar? Nope. <laughs> okay, yes! The 007 game we used to play in Grandma's Basement. On Gold, Goldfinger? Yeah, on Sega? Was it on Sega? No, it was N64. Oh. So that was the winner. But then the runner-up, I was gonna watch two. The runner-up was from Russia with Love, but then guess what? The third one only lost by one <gasps> vote. And it was Dr. Number. Listen, if you've ever thought that your vote doesn't count, clearly <laughs> it does. <laughs> we might go back and watch that one. It's the very first Bond movie ever. Wow. But as of right now, we're starting with this one from Russia with Love. Now this is Sean Connery's Bond. Do you know Sean Connery? Sean, Sean Connery. Do you know I him also don't. from the yeah. Jeopardy SNL bit? Oh, maybe. He's like the host, like shuck it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. I mean, I really like the Daniel Craig ones. I like like these types of action movies. So I'm, yeah. I'm I've heard that these first ones can be like a little cheesy and to like prepare, like if they're old and prepare ourselves for that. And also maybe like a little like, um, Sexist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I've heard that too. <laughs> I've but heard we that are going too. in with an open mind and knowing that and we're here to have fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, remember, if you want to vote on polls like this, you could have been the tiebreaker, mm -hmm. could have been Dr. Mm -hmm. No Number right now. Then here's Patreon, here's like, here's subscribe. Those are free and so helpful. And let's watch. Let's roll. Forget the old movies always have such long mm -hmm. intros. That was not a long intro. No, wow. Okay, never mind. Mm. 
That's not Sean Connery, though, right? Actually, it's funny. After I said that bag at comment, I also thought, but I don't know what Sean Connery looks like, so I don't know who's who here. That does not look like Sean Connery to me. Oh, there's a third person. They're tricking us. Speed up. I feel like that is him, no? He doesn't look like his old self. What? I will know from his voice, though. Yeah. Oh, no. What? Exactly one minute, 52 seconds. That's excellent. Uh... So, oh, what? They have the fake masks, too? Mission Impossible did not do it first. Dang. Maybe this is the long intro. Yeah. Okay, so I know, like, parts of Bond from pop culture. Like, don't they call the lady, like, mother? Oh, um... It's... Don't they have a lady? Of MI6. Isn't that Mission Impossible? I don't know. Did they no. call someone like... It's like, I always thought it was ma'am, but they were saying mum because they're like, oh. an accent. Oh. <laughs> Maybe they're not calling her mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it sounds like, like, mum. Mm. MI6 is like the British intelligence. Mm. Okay. That's not Mission Impossible, right? All right. They were, um... What was their agency called? A Mission Impossible? Yeah. That, like, kept trying to get shut down. The Syndicate? No, like the good people, like Tom Cruise's agency was called the same. Mission Impossible? I don't know, I can't remember. But you're right. We only do this for a living, why? <laughs> <laughs> Can I Google it during this long intro? Mm-hmm. IMF. Impossible Mission Force. Which is a time. Oh, interesting. Check. Tonight. You are required at once? Mm hmm Is that Sean Connery? I don't think so. Mm. If it is, the old Sean Connery looks nothing like his young mm. self. I, can't remember. I don't know if he just made a power play, but he just lost the game for himself. A brilliant coup. Siamese fighting fish. Brave, but of the whole stupid. Let's the other two fight while he waits. Until the survivor is so exhausted that he cannot defend himself. And then, like Spectre, he strikes. I find the parallel amusing. Come in, Kronstein. Listen to what number five has devised for us. I hope Kronstein's efforts continue to be as successful as his chest. They will be. Not so hurry. Neither the Russians nor the British will be aware that they are now working for us. The operation will be organized according to Kronstein's plan. I have selected a suitable girl from the Russian consulate in Istanbul, capable, cooperative, beyond question. It is most unlikely she would know I'm now working for Spectre. These are people that are against Russia now? I'm not sure. Because I've anticipated every possible variation of counter move. Yeah, if I can use no more about Spectre. For the simple reason that this is so obviously a trap. And in any case, they couldn't possibly pass up getting their hands on the Electro Decoder. Personal revenge for the killing of our operative uh, Dr. No. Dr. No. Dr. No. <laughs> well. <laughs> what would be their age? Thought that sounded better. James Bond. James Bond. Oh. Good. Oh. No failure. Is that Sean Connery in there? I <laughs> not figure it out. That's Sean Con Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in being a double agent right now? Maybe? Maybe I just think that because he kind of looks like Daniel Craig. Yeah, I saw that for a second. Welcome to Spectre Island. My time is limited. Is the man I requested ready? Excellent. Where is he now? At the lake. Through the training area. This grant's one of the best men we've ever had. His response to our training and indoctrination have been remarkable. Oh my gosh. They don't even try to hide it. Yeah. The indoctrination has been working <laughs> great. Sticker show, please getting a massage. <laughs> Call him. Good. He seems what? fit enough. Have him report to me in Istanbul in 24 hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Are those brass knuckles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
the statue. I thought she was going to go for the can. <laughs> I wonder if this is the girl there that she said I've a perfect someone inside yeah. the consulate mm -hmm. who won't know you've d defected. Oh shoot! Capital of State Security Tatiana Romanova. You know who I am, Colonel Kleb, head of operations for for Smersh. Your work record is excellent. The state is proud of you. Thank you, Comrade Colonel. She gonna brass knuckle her? Yeah, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fine-looking girl. Sit down. Weird. <laughs> yeah. This... And then you have had the three lovers. Oh. And if you were not in love? I suppose it would depend on the man. Do you keep track of her lovers? Yes. <laughs> I have selected you for a most important assignment. This is to give false information to the enemy. From now on, you will do anything he says. And if I refuse? Then you will not leave this room alive. Oh, shoot. Do you think they're going to have her seduce? The, that's their... James Bond? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I bet that picture is James Bond. I will say nothing to if anyone. you do, you will be shot. Fortunate to have been chosen for such a delightful duty. Labor of love. This lady is not... Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Sean Connery? <laughs> great sport, this bunting. I couldn't agree with him more. Sean Connery. Sean Connery? Souvenir from another jealous woman? Yes, but I haven't turned my back on one since. Excuse me. What? Do we know what year this was made? Give me my shirt, will you? I think What's it's 60s. Okay. Come in, Univex. Oh, wow. Where in the world are you, James? Well, I've just been reviewing an old case. So I'm an old case now, am I? Shh, it's the office. Tell him I'm on my way, will you? He is not on his way. <gasps> Seen you for six months. Your old case sounds interesting, James. Uh, make that an hour and a half. You hear that voice now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> do. But I've never even heard of a Tatiana Romanova. Of course, girls do fall in love with pictures of film stars. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's some sort of trap. Well, obviously it's a trap. And the bait is a cipher machine, a brand new lector. The CIA's been after one of those for years. Here's a snapshot Kerry managed to get of her. The whole thing's so fantastic, it just could be true. That had occurred to me. Well, really, I'm not too busy at the moment, sir. I booked on the 8.30 plane in the morning. Suppose when she meets me in the flesh, I don't come up to expectations. You'll see what you do. I feel like they played right into the hand yeah. of what they said they'd do. An ordinary black leather case with 20 rounds of ammunition here and here. On the side here, flat throwing knife. That button there, now she comes. Handy. Inside the case, you'll find a folding sniper's rifle. Then if you pull out these straps, inside are 50 gold sovereigns. I love spy gadgets. Seriously. Now, normally to open a case like that, you move the catches to the side. If you do, the cartridge will explode in your face. Now, to stop the cartridge exploding, turn the catches horizontally. When no one checks his baggage at the airport. Yeah, that's a nasty little Christmas present. Good luck, 007. 007. I've never been to Istanbul. For the moonlight on the Bosphorus is irresistible. Darling money, Penny. You know I never even look at another woman. Let me tell you the secret of the world. He's quite the ladies' man. Yeah. Isn't he? To leave the photograph, I'm sure he'll recognize the lady when he sees her. From Russia, what love? This is the James Bond thing. <laughs> is that James Bond? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yeah. Da -na -na -na. And Mission Impossibles is and this is Yeah, I think you're right. And the Bourne movies are just kidding. And Pink Panther is I suppose it's customary to have people telling you in these parts. Today it's Citroen H31854 on duty. They follow us, we follow them. It's a sort of understanding. <laughs> so he thinks he's going to meet this lady because she told MI6 that she wanted to defect from Russia. So he's going to like rescue her or something, right? And bring her I back to England. So. And she said she would give him this. But they know that part's a trap. 
Right. But then, like, the lector is mixed into it. Okay. Because maybe the company that has it? I don't totally know. The game with the Russians is played a little differently here. We don't make it too difficult to keep a tab on each other. So I gathered from your chauffeur. He's a rather intelligent young man, by the way. He should be. He's my son. All of my key employees are my sons. Family business? Biggest family payroll in Turkey. Well, Em thinks I'm wasting my time here. And so do I. But if there's a chance of getting a lector, where can I contact this girl? She said she would make her own arrangement. We just have to wait. And she is supposed to give him false information. <laughs> That's her. What was the line about, you have to do everything he says? Is that him as well? She has to, probably, right? Because they think that she's going to work for them. So she'll do everything right. Bond says, but then right. feed him false information. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, Mr. Bond, your room is ready. Isn't it weird that he's his real name everywhere? Yeah, shouldn't he have an alias? Yeah. Like... It's weird to see those old school transitions. Like, the... <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> the PowerPoint is so yeah. <laughs> Camera? Why are you pretty short? I don't know. Hey, Mr. Bond here. Yes? I'm afraid the room won't do. The bed's too small. Tell him that's all there is, unless he would like the bridal suite. Let's have a look at it. I may like it. Because it's bugged? Yeah, I think so. It's weird they all just like all know they're spying on each other. Yeah. Except for him. I think that's like a new one. Right. <gasps> Good work. Who can the Russians suspect but the British? Halikarim Bay. Mm. Halikarim Bay. You are not glad to see me this morning, Sheree. Overjoyed. I no longer please you. Be still. I like how they're betraying these women as like... So needy. And yeah. Like, the guys are like, uh, oh, we have to <laughs> hang out with you. That's the guy with the sons. Mm -hmm. Well, who won? I had visitors. Limpet mine on the wall outside. Time to catch me at my desk. But by good fortune, I was relaxing on the settee for a few moments. It's unlike our Russian friends to break the peace this way. I think my visit might have something to do with it. Close up afterwards. Quite a place you've got here. Were they hiding that door by that group? <laughs> yeah. Seems normal. Yeah, wow. <laughs> My daily exercise. At 11 in the morning, at 3 in the afternoon. Underneath the Russian consulate. A present from your navy. <coughs> Head of the table is General Vasily, Director of Military Intelligence. On his left, Kozlovsky, Chief of Security. Opposite him, Benz. One of his agents can't see the face of the other man. It's too bad I didn't have a listening. Seriously, I'm like, where's the audio? Yeah. It's too bad we can't hear as well as see. <laughs> Krilenko. So he's back. I've had trouble with him before. Was he the chess player? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. At least not from that small angle. It doesn't look like it. This man kills for pleasure. A girl's just come in. Probably Romanova. She's the only one who's allowed to. How does she look to you? Well, from this angle, things are shaping up nicely. <laughs> I'd like to see her in the flesh. Could you get me a plan of that place? I'll get on to that. I need a little time to deal with this stinking Grilenko. It will be better if you didn't stay at the hotel tonight. I see now why you keep the rolls. One of my sons is driving it. Two dummies in the back, in the opposite direction. They'll follow it for hours. Hello, Grilenko. Grilenko. That was the guy in the meeting. Yeah. It seems we've come on the wrong night. Two girls in love with the same man have threatened to kill each other. Oh. Uh, cat fight! <laughs> Remember our belly dancing class? I wasn't there. Oh, that's yeah. right! We did it for a bachelorette. I look just like that. <laughs> that's impressive. And that's how they like... How is she doing that? Yeah. Is that the truffle shuffle from the Goonies? <laughs> Doesn't he like wave his stomach like that? I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. Quite the extended shot of this. Yeah. <laughs> He's just thinking that. <laughs> and this is with his friends, the gypsies, right? Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know why we're here, but yeah. 
Sir. Are these the two women? <gasps> oh, they weren't kidding. It's not worth it, girls. No. The elders of the tribe will then decide who in the end will marry the chief's son. <laughs> this is so odd. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh, 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 my gosh. I think we could take them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're literally trying to kill each other? Or... Oh my gosh. What in the world? They're very scratchy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is where literally where a cat fight came from. Oh, shit. Are they here for Bond or for the Bay guy? I don't know, yeah, because it's the Russians. But he, no one knows he's there. He's like the Spectre guy. Yeah, uh-huh. I still can't totally decide which side Spectre's on, so I'm excited to see what they do here. Interesting. Okay. They're making one of the wounded Bulgars talk. It was me they were after. Why would they want me out of the way? Tomorrow we will have to find Kirilenko's hideout. <laughs> Lavra thanks you for saving his life. You are now his son. Oh. I'd like to ask him a favor. Could you stop the girl fight? Kavgait Messler Dior. Chungre on my sage in Amakabul. He says your heart is too soft to be a real gypsy, but he let you decide the matter. Lavra said for you to decide. Are those both the girls? They're both yours. <laughs> Decide who gets to marry the guy? Might take some time. Or I think now which one he wants? <laughs> and they're just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you pick up that package at the hotel? Thank you. Twice that Kridenko has tried to kill me. The third time he will succeed, unless I get him first. That I'll do tonight. You'd better leave it to me. I'm already too much in your debt. How can a friend be in debt? Well, quite a compact shotgun. Or rifle, or whatever it is. <laughs> Infrared lens. My sons. They will ring his doorbell. He has a private escape hatch. Those are his sons too. I don't know. I have to pull that trigger. Well, if you think you can, you've got one shot. Remember. It'll have to do. I would let. I would let the other. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight. It's okay. Quick. He's coming. Off. Ooh. That pays many debts. She should have kept her mouth shut. Good one. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Uh, breakfast for one at nine, please. Why does he never have to ring anything? I don't know. <laughs> he just picks it up and it works. Uh oh, I think something bad's gonna happen. Well, what was he smelling? I don't know. Don't ignore it. Is the window wide open? Oh. You look surprised. I thought you were expecting me. So you're Tatiana Romanova. My friends call me Tanya. Why is the room torn apart? Now that we've been properly introduced. Careful. Guns upset me. I'm a bit uh, upset myself. You look just like your, your photograph. You're one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. I think my mouth is too big. No, it's the right side. For me, that is. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is it here? What? A decoding machine. Like Must we talk about it now? Was it expected that, like, yeah, I think that was the whole thing. That they I were think, gonna, it's like, she wanted to remember, he was like, could you love him? Does this work? I know, but like, does he just, is under the impression that he was just gonna, like, seduce her or what? I don't, well, there was something about, um, he, like, knew that she loved him, right? Like, uh, how? From a photograph? Like, what are you looking for? You see, I know all about you from your file. Well, I hope you're not uh, disappointed. I will tell you in the morning. But it is weird that it's like for work and they're just like... Yeah. <laughs> you guys just go seduce each other and then... And then... Oh. That's weird. 
This is the guy that's been following them the whole time. Famous historical city, Berga. It was a thousand foot of people have... Who did that? I bet that blonde guy. Oh, you're correct. What in the world? Is that the lecture? No, oh. it's a note. But shouldn't he know what the note was on because he just had that one girl deliver it? It wasn't one of yeah. my men who killed you. All I know is that it saved me the job. Let's just say that Istanbul's a rough town. Let's see how Tanya's map of the Russian consulate compares with your art. Already seen a lot of death. She says she works there with the lector every day between two and three. How is she gonna get the machine over to us? How big is this machine? Yeah. My dear James, you're not using this. We don't even know if she's telling the truth. Well, I intend to find out. Give a wolf a taste, then keep him hungry. All I want is that lector. Are you sure that's all you want? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she's feeding him false information for Russia. And he's... But for Russia, but actually for Spectre. Yes, but she thinks she's doing it for Russia. Yeah, and that blonde guy is just tagging them the whole time because... Yep. Yeah. James, we must leave you now. Don't understand, it's a danger. James, look up. Smile. Another one. Further back. Uh, about the machine. That's all you are interested in, not me. If you tell me about the machine, afterwards we won't always be working on the company's time. What do you want to know? Talking to this. Answer my questions quietly but clearly. How large is the machine? Like a typewriter. About 10 kilos. A brown case, brown like your eye. Keep it technical. <laughs> there are 24 symbols, 16 code keys. Will you make love to me all the time in England? Day and night. <laughs> <laughs> These women are just please. <laughs> I know. Burner. Day and night. <laughs> now keep telling me. <laughs> Jesus. Tom. Thank you. Your clock, is it correct? Always. Did say your clock was correct. Russian clocks are always correct. <laughs> Oh, so we're doing it. This is it. We're stealing the thing. Is this the lector? Yeah. Isn't this now going to cause like a huge upset between their yeah. agencies? I keep forgetting. Oh, oh yikes. Oh, that's very, very gross. This way, quickly. Maybe this is going to be the thing where like. They're supposed to be like using each other, but then they actually like fall in love for real. Yeah. I think that's, that's the end. That's right the end. But she doesn't really want to defect. Dance, Russian security man. <gasps> Come on, never mind. Passports. The pictures do not do you justice. I have rarely seen a handsomer couple. Your name's Caroline. I like that name. Keep the door locked. I'll knock three times. So is she pretending to be scared of the Russians seeing her? I think so, because she thinks she's working for the yeah. Russians. But the Russians don't think Actually, she's working no. for them. Mm -hmm. So, we are really on our way to England. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Is that a nightgown? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> or a dress. Oh, I will wear this one in Piccadilly. You're nearest. Oh. Let's go to the restaurant car, James, for that drink. She doesn't get to go to the restaurant Yeah. <laughs> We'll get off of the restaurant car. It's at that end. Fine. But there are slight complications. One of the Russian security men, he watches the airports and the stations. He's on the train. So I'll keep him company for the next two hours until it's time to get off. Ticket control. Oh. Do not be alarmed, my friend. I've had a 
particularly fascinating life. I'd like to hear about it. Couldn't he spit out that guy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this dude. This, yeah, always <sighs> hidden behind the scenes. I better get dressed now. Why? It's almost six. It's tea time. But I've arranged to meet Karim in the restaurant car. Now listen. Just do as I say, will you? Do I look right, Mr. Somers? So they're getting off here. Why isn't he telling her that? Yeah. Or is just the other guy getting off? Oh. Huh? Mrs. Somerset. Gargis. Ooh. Mrs. Somerset. Mrs. Somerset. There's been a terrible accident. Keep the door locked. Is this a trap? Uh, it could be. I'm thinking, yeah. They killed each other. <gasps> no. Blondie? This must be kept quiet until we reach Trieste. Oh. Oh, yikes. I really liked him. I liked him, too. You're right, I don't think they killed each other. <gasps> His son! Oh. And you couldn't telephone out. Ah, uh -uh. <gasps> well, stop doing that! Anyone could knock three times. I was just thinking That's the a regular number of knocks. knocks. Yeah, it's three. Garam's dead. Dead? Hmm? Now I want the truth. James, you're hurting I'll me. I'll do worse than that if you don't tell me. You're doing this under orders, I know. I don't know what you mean. Fire. <gasps> oh, wow. Even if you kill me, I can say nothing. I did not know anything like Karim's death would happen. But when we get to England, I tell you. Tanya, maybe they didn't let you in on all of it. Whatever you do know, tell me. I know I love you, James. I love you. Just tell me. I don't know if she's playing the part or not. I mean, this has been like two days, so like, I know. <laughs> I don't know if it can be real. <laughs> well, we do know they're working against the British, right? Who? Spectre? Spectre? Yes. Remember they had that whole plan? Mm -hmm. And when he talked about but James Bond, he said, kill why him he... slowly and yeah. mercilessly or something. And they've defected from, from Russia, Russia to the Spectre, so I don't know who they're working for. My brother telephoned me. Why did the train not stop? Oh. I have some, some bad news. Your father's dead. Who did it? Well, he took care of that himself. The other man died first. I want you to send a message to M in London. Tell him to send someone from Station Y Tell to him. meet me in Zagreb. Who's that guy? Such a sneaky little guy. I know. We literally haven't even heard him talk. No. This whole movie. Where did Miss Somerset go? I'm confused. Yeah. He's not impersonating him, is he? I don't Like, was think that a so. son? And he just went over and said... No, I don't think that was a s I don't know, though. Maybe. Because I guess he did light a cigarette, right? I don't know, though. They're saying the code words to each other. <gasps> or is he impersonating the guy he yeah, just talked to? Yeah, he's So guy. not James Bond. Right. But, okay, okay, okay. Nash. Captain Nash. My God. Busted every record getting here. Oh, boy. What were them's orders? Only to uh, contact you and the lady on the train. Good. Come this way. <gasps> did, did Bond not see the blonde guy at that, at that one place? Where... Captain Nash. I don't think so. Because I think he only saw the guy that went to steal the thing she set down. Very fit, Nash. Yes. I try to keep in shape. Take a brass knuckle punch. So what's our problem, sir? He's oh, pretty I good English accent. Taking this through the customs. No stops till then. We'll have to jump off. Can you get us across? Any of the opposition around? No, not in any condition to worry about. We'll make it. I know this territory like the back of my hand. Uh, sir, do you mind if we have a bite to eat first? I've been on the go since breakfast. Biggest thing's there. We've got the restaurant car. You go on with Captain Nash to the restaurant car. I'll join there in a few minutes. <laughs> Has she ever seen him before? I don't think so. Oh yeah, check if it's a secret briefcase. Yeah. And if not, it wouldn't be an agent, right? Because wasn't every agent getting a briefcase like that? I don't know, where the, did he say that? I think so. Well, enjoy your dinner, old man. I think I got the answer. Why does he keep saying old man? Does he know his name? Like, Order. <laughs> you know when you're like doing an accent, you overcompensate? Yeah. Maybe that's like, good day, mate, mate, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm... Terribly sorry, Mrs. Somerset. Waiter! Did you see it? Yes. Excuse me? Gero. Gero. 
<laughs> Was it his or hers? Hers. Nope. My head. Bring her in here. May I? Go next door. Lost your night, sir. Eh? Mm -hmm. He knows. He do you knows. think he knows? Yeah, I do. Or at least he's suspicious of it. Briefcase Stop in that. Stop a drink. Floral hydrate. Quick but mild. And? Take it easy, O7. My escape route's only for one. What are you after? The girl or the lector? All right. What is your plan? Explain it better on a map. We're here, you see? When we reach there, the train slows down there. We'll block the line. Make for that main road. Act. I don't know. <gasps> oh! Did he stab him or just bonk him? Just bonk him. But why did he get so close to him when he knew he was bad? I don't think he knew he was bad. Hey, did he put the gun on him? Keep still. All right, now get up on your knees. How does it feel, old man? Old man? Is that what you chaps and Smash call each other? Smash? Of course. Spectre. And it wasn't a Russian show at all. You've been playing us off against each other, haven't you? <gasps> it was Spectre who killed the Russian agent in the mosque. You, mm -hmm. Karam and the mm -hmm. other man, mm -hmm. and Nash. I get a kick out of watching the great James Bond. Find out what a bloody Who's fool Nash he's been again? Of Nash is the one he's impersonating it. He switched it by oh. the train. Okay. I've been your guardian angel. Saved your life at the gypsy camp. Oh yes, I'm much obliged. Go on, I'm fascinated. Between here and Trieste. Isn't she working for Spectre too? No. She thinks she's doing it all for Mother Russia. She takes her orders from Colonel Kleb. A Rosa Klebs, Russian, head of operations for Smash. Kleb works for Spectre now. The girl doesn't know that. <sighs> Here's a roll of film. She have this in her handbag. I find this letter. It's from her, threatening to give the film to the press unless you marry her for helping you get the lector. What film? Taken in the bridal suite at your hotel. Something else the girl didn't know about. Or you. <laughs> Yikes. British agent murders beautiful Russian spy, then commits suicide. Which lunatic asylum did they get you out of? The I feel like the briefcase is gonna save him somehow. Oh, <gasps> the briefcase! How much are they paying you? We'll double it. The first one won't kill you. Not even the third. Not till you crawl over here and you kiss my foot. How about a cigarette? I'll pay for it. What worth? Fifty gold sovereigns. Up there in my case. He doesn't open it correctly. Yeah. What about that cigarette? Any more in the other case? I should imagine so. It's a standard kit. Put your hand back in your pockets. Did you see him open it that weird way? I don't think so. <gasps> Thank you, Gadget Man. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh. Use your briefcase for other stuff. Yeah, get the knife. Dodge, dodge. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on, briefcase, briefcase. Hurry. Oh gosh. Gosh. Oh. I don't. We're watching it. Oh. You won't be needing this, old man. So now. What's he gonna do with the girl? Yeah. Especially because he knows she's semi innocent. But also, he knows, like, she was working for Russia. <laughs> Leave me. Never leave me. You must get to the other side of the train. Under here. Oh, She's go. literally drugged. I Help know. her out. <laughs> you just leave her? No. No, no, no. Get a new car. Grant, where are you? Oh, Grant. That's the guy he just killed. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I don't run away. Come on, I'll leave you here. Stay here. Like, I mean, I know you're still could have ticked her because 
<laughs> she's playing you the whole time, but like, <laughs> like a fiddle. But, but like, you kind of like her too, okay? Yeah. So. You'll feel better in the morning. Come on, <laughs> wake up. Oh gosh. Who do we think this is? I don't know. Russia or Spectre? Okay, it's coordinated. Did you fact thought they were gonna shoot him? I'm like, oh my gosh, another player? But so they think this is Grant to drive in the truck. Yeah. Right? I think. <gasps> They're literally trying to Prime straddle the truck. Oh shoot. You hide under the truck. Whoa, uh, that cannot. Yeah. <laughs> Can you fly like that in a helicopter? Drop. What's happening right now? I don't know. Couldn't they just shoot him? Yeah. They're just playing like tag? But, yeah. This is bizarre. Yeah, I don't okay. know what he's doing. Okay, put the gun together. Mm. Wow. Did they actually have to blow up the helicopter probably in real life for that shot? I think so. It's all practical probably, back yeah. then, right? Oh. oh, shoot. I'd say one of the aircraft is missing. Tanya? Did you get a new hat? <laughs> in the boat. Why are they keeping him? I don't know. Under? Yeah, I was just saying the same thing. I'm like, wouldn't you want him just in case he escaped from your handcuffs? And... Yeah, take the wheel. This way, please. Just isn't your day, is it? I guess it'll take him longer to get to shore so they can get away. Now well, we've got plenty of fuel. With a bit of luck, we should be there by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Three men were found dead on the train. One of them was Grant. It was Gleb's choice. Her people failed. It was your plan. They followed it implicitly. Except for one thing. They were dealing with Bond. <sighs> Who is Bond compared with Kronstein? Exactly. What have you to say to that, number three? Oh, I thought the floor was like <laughs> yeah. from under her. Bond is still alive and the lector is not yet in our possession. Inspector always delivers what he promises. I warn you, you know the penalty. Yes. If you fail... <gasps> Seen her die from that kick? Maybe it was like a poisoned dagger. Which is between. <laughs> he did put his boat hat on, <laughs> open his briefcase. He's like, huh? <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, let's do it, right? <laughs> captain, my captain. Uh oh. How do they know that who was he is? the kicky boot guy, right? The uh, guy in the white jacket? I don't know. Really? Feels like he's ahead of you guys. <laughs> Pull over, Inspector Green! Get out of the way! They're not very good shots, are yeah. they? Yeah. They're trying to stop them, not to take them. Oh boy. Oh. Oh shoot. Here, take the wheel. Slow down. Green, go alongside while we keep you covered. They're just gonna count on them running out of fuel. And you have a dirty pistol. Keep your hands up, Mr. Bond. Oh, oh shoot! <gasps> oh, <sighs> smart Bond. Yep. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, the cat guy is not gonna be happy. Mm -mm. Bond gets him again. Don't go away. Yes. I feel like they still need to have a few conversations. <laughs> they need to have a DTR. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, they're in Italy. Italia. <gasps> Number three. Is that her? I think so. Hello, Paul. Bond here. And signal the office on our way back, will you? Here, leave that. Hello, what was that you were saying? Clap. James, you still there? Hello. <laughs> Romanova, the door. Romanova! Did he tell her that? I don't know. Spectre tried to screw her over? I don't think so. I feel like he could have just whoosh, got the gun right there. Take this. <gasps> I knew it. I knew she was going to come through for him. 
Oh boy. Why do they all have that? You know what they didn't account for? Love. <laughs> I, yeah. I was trying to think of like the intrigue of James Bond. <laughs> the irresistible. Irresistible. Of James Mr. Bond. Here you are in case you ever need it again. All government property has to be accounted for. We won't always be working on the company's time, will we? Oh. Behave yourself. We are being filmed. Oh, not again. <laughs> he was right, you know. What is it? I'll show you. <laughs> Not quite the end. <laughs> oh, look, in the next thriller, Goldfinger. Oh. It's like the Marvel uh, post credit scene. scene. Yeah. <laughs> Snuck that in there. Okay. Bond number one in the book. The original James Bond. Okay, what'd you think? Um, it was good. Like, I like good action and the intrigue, and I like that there was a little bit I still had to figure out. Totally! I mean, we still don't totally know how Spectre plays it. Are they just like a kind of a yeah, rogue? Yeah, we might have missed that in the first, first one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, so could you guys help us out? Are they just kind of like a rogue agency that, like, are they like a terrorist group, you know, kind of like right. playing both sides? Because obviously Russia knows they exist because right. they're negotiating with Russia. Right. Yeah, I liked, like, the who's uh, tricking who mm -hmm. and, and get a little bit of a Love story. Yes. Kind of. And he was suave. Yes. Like, he did yeah. have uh -huh. charm and mm -hmm. charisma. And, and James Bond's are always, like, classy, too. Yes. It's also an old film. <laughs> and yeah. you can tell in parts. And maybe there's, like, a charm to that, right? Totally. Like, the classic it, cinema of it. Yeah. But. but it's also hard to, like, watch movies like we do now. Mm -hmm. Like, the effect, not only the effects, but just, like, the way it's filmed and stuff, mm -hmm. I guess. And the fight scenes. The fight scenes, yeah. They were, like, they're still intense. And I liked, actually, in that last one where they dropped the lights, so it looked, like, a little bit more. But they're, like... Like they jump, <laughs> like, and then the person's like, "Oh, I rolled over here." Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a little bit different, but but we have to remember, like this was in the mm -hmm, '60s, mm -hmm. I think. And yeah, you don't. This is probably like new to them too. Like, there's so many new cinema things probably in right. this world. Like, that's incredible. Did they? So. Oh, totally. And did mm -hmm. they even use like stunt doubles back then yeah. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. or did they really have to like? Pull their punches. Yes, and yeah, that's so true. On Connery. Yeah, he he for he surprised me. I he was very. Now that we figured out what he looks like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who he is. I loved the plot. I yes. thought it was like a really uh -huh. clever plot, and yeah. Spectre's clever. They're playing both sides. They're yeah, pulling strings all over the place. I still don't know who the Kitty Man is. Yeah, he like reminds me of um, Charlie's Angels. No, oh. um, do you know, like never see the face of Charlie? Oh, yeah. But remember Anyways. Inspector Gadget cartoon? Wasn't he always oh. petting a cat? I was gonna say, I'm like, I feel like always the evil person is like, <laughs> has a white cat in their yeah. pen. Yeah, that's funny. First one done. Fun time. Next one is a lot of people's favorite, Goldfinger. Oh, Goldfinger. Yeah. All right, Sean Connery still. Yes, yep. yes, because it's not the end. Yes. Not quite the end, does it? Oh, stated. that's right. So, hey. Um, all right, James Bond journey. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching along. We'll see you next time.